Morning, this is Brad from the beach. Uh, and as I told you, John, now we're gonna be focusing on Mark 4 for three or four of our sessions here. Uh, yesterday, we talked about the fact that Jesus is Lord over the natural realm. But today, where we find is these guys getting to the other side of the Galilee and where they land is a little place called the land of the Gadarenes or Gerasenes. And it is the place where there is a, a guy who has been possessed by an evil spirit, or if you will, by a number of evil spirits, and has lived his time uh, down in the cemetery, in the graveyard, and nobody could bind him. He cut himself with stones. And I'm sure it was a moment in time when most parents uh, didn't want their kids playing in the cemetery because they were fearful uh, of this man. And when Jesus and his disciples land there and Jesus begins to converse with the man who is demon possessed and Jesus calls him forth and, and asks for the name. And the demons in the man respond by saying, we are legion. There are a bunch of us in here. And the problem that they were struggling with, talking about the demonic, the problem they were struggling with was that they recognized the presence of Jesus. And in their recognition of him, they understood that where he was, they could not be because they knew he was Lord over the spirit realm. So that as they begin to exchange with him and he begins to speak with authority to them that they respond by saying why are you here have you come to torture us and this kind of thing because they understood that this man they were facing was jesus who is lord and who is god you know sometimes i wonder if the demonic can so easily recognize the presence of the lord out of their fear out of their knowledge that if he's there, they can't exist. I wonder sometimes uh, about us and others like us when we have such difficulty recognizing the presence of the Lord. And sometimes I think maybe it's because we have not yet understood that our very existence depends on him. Our life depends on him. Just as the demons were fearful for being able to exist in his presence, his presence is what gives us life. So that we need to pursue that, press into him, to have intimacy. Listen, there are a lot of things in the world right now that are flat out of the pit of hell. There's a lot of demon, demonic expression going on. We see it in our nation. We see it in politics. We see it in sickness. We see it all around us in so many ways. What we've got to learn to see in the midst of this is the presence of the Lord. Because in his presence, the demonic has to flee. James tells us that we can resist the devil and he has to flee. But the passage right above that says we must submit ourselves to God and then resist the devil and he will flee. What we're being told there in James is that if we submit to the authority of Jesus, then we can operate in that authority and then we can take authority over the demonic realm. So how about this gang, that we come together with an understanding that we're not gonna be fearful of what's evil. We're not gonna be fearful of the demonic, but we're gonna submit ourselves to Jesus as Lord and then operate in the authority that he gives us so that we will resist the devil, we will speak to that which is demonic, and we will walk in the freedom that God has given us. Plus, we will be able with his authority to set others free from that demonic oppression as well. So how about this gang together? Let's pursue Jesus and understand that no matter what we're looking at, no matter how evil it appears, Jesus has the final word on it because he is Lord over the spirit realm. This is bread from the beach. Be blessed.